I have over 10 years of working experience with GIS products. I've been working for uh, the second largest engineering firm in the world for over 10 years now using ESRI products, uh, ArcGIS, ArcView, ArcInfo, as well as all of the extensions for uh, ArcGIS. Also, I have about five to six years of working experience with AutoCAD and GeoExpress, which is a raster editing tool uh, designed to work with aerial and satellite photography. Through 10 years of working for the second largest engineering firm in the world, I've gained a lot of experience. Uh, we've worked on many different projects. Um, I've worked on projects from the initial design phase and all the way to implementation where we go to our client and when we install that on their, on their systems. So I have the experience of sitting down as a, as a team or sitting down you know, just with me and the client and talking about what, they, what the client needs, doing like a needs assessment, talking about what they want and coming up with a solution for them, a GIS based solution for the client. So we sit down, we have a meeting, we discuss the plan. We need to discuss what the client wants at the, at, as the outcome. You know whether this, whether this information is going to be published online through an internet mapping service, or is this going to be an internal application? Does he need a customized interface? All these things get resolved, put down in an implementation plan, and then I basically go to work on making it happen. Then uh, map out their uh, uh, orange groves and. Uh, uh, in, in this area and I've also worked on projects for local governments for land stewardship pro, uh, projects and um, uh, commercial and industrial land inventories. So that's where the government comes to us and they say we have all this uh, open vacant land in the, in the county and it's all zoned either commercial or industrial and we have all these developers that want to come into the county like Scripps and they want to buy a huge parcel of land but they want it to be this, this, and this criteria. They want it to be accessible from the major highways. It needed to be a certain type of zoning, a certain type of land use, and um, it needs to cost this amount of money. Um, so we put all this information into a GIS by gathering information that's readily available from the local counties and government agencies out there. And uh, some of it we have to create ourselves. Uh, by just getting information in paper format and then converting that into digital format and inputting into the system. And uh, basically we come out with, we do, we do the analysis and uh, we come out with the results. We give them answers to their questions. So I've also worked on many uh, GPS projects where I go out there in the field and I collect GPS data and then we uh, bring that into the GIS. There's a conversion process that's involved to bring that into the GIS and it just becomes another layer and we can provide that to, um, uh, we've, I've done that for both private and public sector clients. And um, uh, all these projects uh, we've worked on, uh, there can be very small projects uh, for a very specialized purpose and uh, like just to go do a certain inventory or we've worked on projects where it's a whole enterprise system and it's for a whole county or for um, a community college or a state college where we gather pretty much everything, every infrastructure point they have and all their classroom schedules and everything and put it together in one GIS system because basically that's what GIS does. It gathers numerous uh, gigabytes, terabytes worth of data and brings it all together into one interface where it can be analyzed and mapped. These projects that I've worked on have been uh, I've written papers on and I've presented them and uh, they've won awards at the International ESRI Users Conference. I've provided, also I've provided a lot of training and support for our private and public sector clients because after we go out and we collect the data and we develop this database that they're looking for and create this GIS system, not all of our clients are familiar with GIS. So I'm also the, the guy that goes there, installs it, explains to them what they're getting and I actually provide training. So in addition to my 10 years of working hands-on experience, I also have uh, my educational background where it's basically a, ge a geographic information systems specialist uh, track in geography uh, from Florida Atlantic University. One of my favorite GIS projects and one that we actually um, in the process of completing 
was that uh, for Indian River State College, which is where the, the reason I like it and the reason it was one of my favorite projects is because I actually got to utilize almost every aspect of GIS and everything that I've learned throughout my years. It, it involved everything from uh, working on the database design and meeting with the client and working on an implementation plan. And we basically got to, got to from the bottom up, design this GIS system for the college. Basically, you know, got to sit down with them and go over and ask them what their, what their main needs were, but also add some tweaks to it that they simply loved. And they, they got a great product at the end because not only did we incorporate what they wanted, which was like uh, they wanted a internet, an internet mapping product where students can access from their home and online and see where's my classroom. Where you know where are all the emergency phones located? Where can I where can I park my bike? You know where's their bike rack? Like that's all in the GIS system, and the students can access that before ever stepping foot on the campus. You, you know, say I'm going to Washington State University, but I live in Florida. Well, you get that you go online and you can see all that information, so you know where your classrooms are, how to get to them. Um, like I said, where your dorm is. How you can even use mapping tools, like you can measure on the, on the screen and know how many miles or how many feet certain things are, distances. Um, it's a great tool for finding out information and for providing information to the students and to the staff internally. The staff has access to each classroom and they know what outlets are in each classroom. They know what kind of smart boards, if there are smart boards, they know how many people can fit in the classroom. So all this information is available to both students and teachers and faculty, as well as the maintenance personnel uh, for the outside utilities and fire. And they have all that information at their fingertips in front of a computer without having to rummage through plans. For more GIS information, just simply click the GISGuru.com.